we are the only one today here be able to sit inside good morning guys we have arrived in the brand new Axpong headquarter that's the t2 and that's the t1 the lobby is very spacious and futuristic especially if there's a car on the wall that's a really cool touch the first stop on our tour is the chassis technology of the new x10 t7 when it comes to luxury chassis and top tier handling the most represented model is undoubtedly the all-new P7. I think he did a good job with the presentation, so thank you for your service. He's a very shy robot. Right now is lunchtime, and we are in the cafeteria, and I can pay uh, with my ID card. Okay. Since I've got some money in my ID, I'll pick a random person here and ask them what do they do, and uh, treat them with a free meal. All right. I met this young lovely lady here. What's your name and uh, what do you do in Xpeng? Uh, my name is Harper and uh, my job here is the product manager of the new, uh, the next uh, generation P7, right? Wow. So the the brand new uh, P7 is your creation? Yes, yes. We, uh, we, we have a team, we created it together, right? And, and uh, I think that I did actually did a uh, test drive in Ningbo of yes. that car and I did uh, film the car in the studio yes. in Guangzhou. Yes. I think it's a lovely looking car and uh, the quality uh, and, and the design is just amazing. But I have to say the headroom in the rear is a little bit limited for me. Was that on purpose? Uh, yes, for sure. Because like the, uh, uh, the design is consistency. But some Someone also like it, so it's some limited, uh, uh, limited version for someone who really love it. Yeah, and and you guys gonna have some what like faster special edition of the P7 in the near future? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> if I'm in the front driving this car, I don't really care about the headroom in the rear because it's just so gorgeous. I'm going to pay for your meal for Thank for you. your lunch. All right, Thank let's. You so much. <laughs> All right, guys, now we have the exclusive opportunity to have a look inside this craft. Wow, this is all real. The whole structure is made of carbon fiber. Right now, we, we are the only one today here be able to sit inside because uh, somehow I bumped into the CEO of the flying car segment. And this is just so cool. And you've got um, a sort of a movable wine storage in the middle. It comes to the front. Wow, this is amazing. It takes six people, and this is gonna change uh, the way everybody sort of you know travel. Excuse me, sir. Who are you, and what do you do in Xpeng? Okay, I'm uh, Wang Tan. I'm the co-founder and the vice president of uh, Airage. Also, I charge for the Guangzhou Design Center of Xpeng Models. Right, right, right. And by the way, mm -hmm. the gentleman over there in uh, white suits is actually the, the founder, found, the, found, the actual founder. Uh, so founder and co-founder are both here, and that's why we had the opportunity to uh, sit inside to give you guys the exclusive first view of the interior, which is amazing, and thank you very much. And uh, with this amazing craft, uh, when do you think this is actually going to hit production? I think it takes about uh, maybe three to four years after we get the Airworthiness certification from the AAC. The one thing I've noticed is it was um, very cool and very beautiful, but at the same time, it's a little bit noisy. So what's the main sort of uh, application environment? Is this for city or is this for uh, suburban? The first one that you mentioned, we call it a land aircraft carrier. Yep. It's a modular flying car. Yep. So, uh, and this one, we, we call it a long-range flying car. It's our uh, second step of our whole three-step uh, strategy. Yeah. And uh, I think in terms of noisy now, we are using some new technology and uh, to make it uh, uh, more quiet than before. Before, I don't know if you have tried the X2, which is uh, another uh, product uh, lineup uh, uh, of uh, AirAge. Yeah. And that's a pretty noisy but uh, this is way quieter than the X2 already so so which one's quieter than that 
Uh, I mean the land aircraft. Oh, okay, carrier. all right. Yeah. All right. So, so they are they're getting better and better with each generation, with yes. each model. Yeah, exactly. So, so with this one, I mean, give more the quiet. size. Yeah, it's it's more quiet, and uh, uh, for for the user scenario, I think now we are try to have our flying camp. Uh, in the China mainland, we all we almost have uh, 200 uh, flying camps, so you can drive the f the land air aircraft carrier there, and then release the Yveto and uh, fly it. So those easy. camps are in the city or outside, like uh, suburban uh, areas? Actually, we have suburban, also some uh, not intercity, but uh, it's very convenient to, to drive. Uh, you have opportunity to maybe to use it uh, intercity. Yeah. and as a transportation tours like that. Because I was thinking, for example, tourism spots mm -hmm. or luxury uh, hotels, mm -hmm. they are normally located somewhere yeah, in the middle of nowhere, but the view is very good. Yes. So, so instead of having a helicopter, they can have this to take passengers and uh, and uh, show them show oh, their guests, so show their customers of the local view with a better angle, you know? Yes, yeah. if for the tourism, I think maybe the land aircraft carrier is more appropriate for this. Than the smaller one, yeah. Yes. So so you don't have to carry that many people per yes. time. A helicopter is more expensive to, for the hotel to exactly. own and to run. With mm -hmm. this is much uh, much more sustainable also, and affordable. Also another another very, very, uh, very strong uh, adva advantage, uh, I think, is uh, it's very easy to learn. Actually, I'm a helicopter pilot. Right. So I take some about forty hours to learn how to fly. Oh, but you right, this right. one, three minutes. I understand. So yeah. the main difference between this and a helicopter is this one, three, five, or ten minutes training. You can you can you know um, go into the air with your family, with your loved ones, and enjoy the view yes, exactly. privately. But yeah. with a helicopter, you have to sort of uh, you know right. have, have the pilot, pilot drive you. Yes. And, and more expensive. So. Yes, yes. Okay, I think By the way, uh, if you get the license, it need to take time. But uh, if uh, what I mean is, if you want to learn how to pilot it, hmm. three to five minutes, super easy. I will let you try later. Sure, and and uh, for I think for people like me who uh, normally you know fly DJI drones, mm -hmm. so do you think I can fly this thing much quicker? Much quicker. <laughs> for you, maybe just uh, one to two minutes. Yeah, I mean we can probably make it a challenge, a small challenge. You know how fast I can learn to fly yes. the, the, the the flying car. All right, that'd be okay. so exciting. Thank you so much, Thank and you. and and uh, look forward to try, um, you know, one of those uh, flying cars. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.